When I was one, I had polio, and a 60 cent vial of polio vaccine would have prevented me from getting polio. My father knew that once I had polio, he could not help me any longer. Many, many people in developing countries are faced with the same situation. They cannot take care of the child because the child has pneumonia, the child has malaria. And simple medication, by providing them the medicine, the child will survive. The biggest problem that faces the developing world is that they have a need for resources but are not in their hands. These medicines do exist. They should be available to everyone no matter where you live. It's hard for us to fathom that the United States where we can get medicine anytime we want or need it. They don't have emergency rooms. They don't have clinics. They can just pop in. Two billion people in our world lack access to medicine. For most people, even the poor of the poor in the U.S., somebody gets sick, they're going to be treated. But here, you see people that if you don't get the help, they will not make it. They will die. On a young mother's plate every day is, how am I going to feed my child? And if my child gets sick, where am I going to go? Most of the people and children with disability, they're not born that way. They're because of sickness and illnesses. It is unacceptable when you can prevent something from happening. Our core mission is medicines and health supplies. And how do we reach the people in the world that need them? MAP is changing the world, and we are going about it very strategically. Where there is disease, MAP medicines bring health. It's simple as providing a little bit of help through providing life-saving medicine, a seven-day course of antibiotic, two deworming medicines. We can say that child, that family is living because of it. Through MAP, they get healing medicines, vitamins that help children become stronger, medicines that save lives all over the world. Disease can spread very quickly. Not only are they getting the medicines, but more importantly, they're getting trained on how they can live a healthier life. With MAP, people receive medicines that are free to them so that they can have what will save their lives and cause them to be healthier. There are medicines on the shelves that meet the need. I mean, that's that's life-changing. We stay constantly ready to respond to natural disasters. These strategic medicines that are needed or medical supplies that are needed that fit that type of natural disaster. When a disaster hits, they also have the need for medicine because anytime you can have a cut, if you do not treat that cut with the appropriate antibiotics, and you can actually become life-threatening. The MAP, working through our partners, will provide the medicines, antibiotics, ointments, and other treatments to make sure that person will not die from that infection. Having medicines available gives incredible hope back to that patient that this is not where I have to stay in life. In situations of despair, MAP medicines offer humanity. One of the ways this is accomplished is that MAP has partners around the world. When you see how the patients that are seen, the feel are treated with respect, with love, and with honor, you know we are the right partner. We just come alongside them and offer them the medicines that will help within a time frame that MAP could never do on its own. We visited clinics that received MAP medicines, and knowing as you see this line of people, they no longer see themselves as impoverished. They see themselves as children of God with a promise, with, with a future, with a hope. It's humbling to get to play a small part in that, but it's humbling to me that there are people who give at such a sacrificial level. And so I've seen the needs in multiple developing nations around the world. I can't unsee that. Medicines for the world. We have the privilege of taking medicines all over the world so that people have a chance in life. We believe that God has breathed a potential in every person. And for that to be unlocked, sometimes we need help. Our work 
is just beginning. Until everyone has health care available to them, there are nights that I'm going to be thinking about it and praying about it, thinking how much more can I do to help.